Okay, well, I'm gonna very quickly show you how to restring uh, very easily your stretch bracelet in case it breaks or in case the uh, elastic thread gets a little worn out, which it can do, everybody knows this. These um, these bracelets uh, you know, being stretched and unstretched and stretched and stretched, they, they tend to do that over time. So in your package, I included a length of, this is one millimeter uh, elastic cord for these bracelets um, and a little piece of wire essentially that's going to be your needle. So basically it's open on one end and it's a V on the other end. So to restring your bracelet, this is really easy. All you do is, um, and you don't have to have this special bead uh, arranging board or anything like that. You can just lay them out on your counter and then you take your string your elastic string and you're going to make a temporary knot so when you string things it doesn't fall off so you just basically do that little you know shoelace over the canned bow and just give it a little tight and you'll notice see it wants to come undone really easy so maybe do it twice it doesn't just uh, be a stopper and if it still keeps coming undone sometimes I just put a little piece of scotch tape on there but anyway you've got this little knot on one end the other end is just a simple loop whoa and that was magic <laughs> I didn't mean to do that uh, this little piece of wire is going to be your needle so you just thread it through and just go like that so basically and I'm going to work around my little tripod here um, most of these bracelets have a kind of a big bead that's the end you know where the knot gets hidden so you just thread that one on first lay them out you know how you want them if you want to change the order now's the time to do it you can do it and then you're going to just basically string each one of your beads using you know hold the two ends of that little wire together and it's your needle in the beginning it's kind of wants to you know splay out um, a little bit wider but it's okay eventually it'll just calm down and get bent a little and then you just patiently thread all your beads on and that should take you just a couple minutes um, there's really usually not this many beads but just for sake of demonstration I'm gonna thread these on here. So I'm going to pause a second and string them on here and then I'll get to the knot part. Okay. Okay. I've threaded all the beads onto my string, my elastic string, and now I'm ready to start tying the knot. So you've got your knot end here and this was a temporary knot. And if it doesn't just fall out like that, cut it off. That's fine. Don't cut it too short, but leave some room that you can tie. And then your needle end, you can just remove that little piece of wire. Okay, now this end with the loop, we need a little bit of loop, but we don't need this much. So I'm gonna scoot these down a little bit, you know. Don't close it all, don't uh, go over the end or you're gonna have to restring it all. But basically make it so it's a little tighter to the end, a little closer. Okay, so then you've got your loop end and you've got two loose strings here. So I'm gonna take one of these loose strings and I'm gonna stick it through my loop and it's gonna look like that. So I caught it. So now I want to scooch this all up so that there is no more loop. I'm gonna get rid of my loop, okay? So I'm gonna scoop my beads around. So then now that loop is gone, it's caught. Okay, it's caught up in there. Now I can start tying the knot. So these are just the easy, the first few are the easy little, um, kind of like when you start tying your shoe. So you take the left over the right or the right over the left, whatever's easier, go underneath and then just pull. Now right here next to it, just give it a little tug, you know, a couple little tugs. Don't pull so hard that it breaks because it will break. Um, you need to just gently tug. So do that a minimum of five times Okay, these little simple ones. So underneath, pull, tighten, tighten, tighten. Okay, this makes a little chain of knots that's not really bulky um, and it does seem to hold pretty good. Three, tighten, tighten, tighten. So if they say it's a minimum of five, I always do double. I'm just kind of extra like that, so I'll do ten. It's four. And if you got fiddly fingers like me, five, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do double because I just wanna be sure. I don't want to break, you know, really easy. Six, seven, 
eight. Nine and ten. Okay, and then once you're done with the the last one that you decide to do, okay, you're gonna do two of this kind of knot. So it's the same exact kind of knot, except for instead of just going through once, you're gonna flip it around a couple, three more times, and it kind of makes a whole bunch of those kind of knots in a row. And it'll be a little harder to pull, and it's gonna kind of make a little bit of a bulkier one, but that's okay. So you do the same thing, just tighten, 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 and then do it again. So you just wrap around and around, <laughs> patiently, around and around and around again and again okay and then you got that little pile of knots okay so really now you've got 10 15 20 knots or something like that so just give it a little tug make sure it's nice and tight because it seems to want to come undone real easy and some people will put a dab of glue there to hold it you don't have to do that with this method um, you can if you like if you want some extra security you can put a dot of crazy glue or some other kind of glue there but if you don't have it don't worry about it it's gonna work just fine then you're gonna cut this off but you're gonna leave just a little tail don't cut it super tight to there just just leave a little bit it's gonna be inside that end bead anyway and so now there's your done knot so this big bead that's usually on all of these bracelets there's a big one just go like that and pop it inside and there you go there's your bracelet it's all done it's all ready to wear and it stretches and there you go so that's how you restring your stretchy bracelet and i hope this was a help to you and i'll talk to you soon bye bye